Hello, guy. In this video, we will take a look at how to use SIDIM DVD burner. It's the best DVD burner to make high quality and professional DVD masterpiece. Now, let's know how to use it. Launch the software. Drag and drop target files into the source interface. If you add a wrong video, you can select the video and click the trash can icon in the lower left corner to delete the video. You are allowed to watch the added videos. Just place the mouse on the video you want to play, a play button will appear, click the button. In addition, there is an edit icon under each video. You can click it, to open the video editing window. Here you can set the start and stop time, to trim unwanted portions. Adjust the cropping area, by dragging the central and surrounding handles, or by changing the figures in these four boxes. Also, select an output aspect ratio. Rotate your video in four directions. Add any text watermark, or image watermark to the video. Add cool effects to your video. Import subtitles. Create chapters, by filling in the end time. Adjust the volume of the original video, and set the time of fade in and fade out effect. Next, let's come to Customize DVD menu. All templates are listed on the left side. If you don't want to add a menu, tick the option No Menu. To further customize the DVD menu, click this black arrow to pull out the hidden custom tools on the right column. Under the Fissert tab, you can see all templates of background image. If you don't want to use an image, choose a solid color background. You can also import external image as background. Click the second icon. You can customize title button and menu button. There are three options available. Select frame, it will only display the video thumbnail. Select frame and label, it will display both video thumbnail and texts. Select label, it will only display the texts. Click the third icon. You can rename your DVD, and add any text to the DVD menu. Go to the fourth icon, here allows you to upload music files from your Mac. Once you completed editing the menu, preview your DVD. Finally, get ready to burn DVD on Mac. There are some important parameters that can be set. Choose the TV standard of your country or region.
choose a playback mode. And if you want to burn more than one DVD, set copies number. After all settings are complete, click burn. Alright, guys. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye.